The following video is brought to you by Mycogen Seeds. Meet the demand for Omega-9 oils with Nexera Canola Hybrids from Mycogen Seeds. For clarification, groundwater is the subsurface water and the water table is the upper surface of the groundwater. The water table also marks the boundary between the saturated and unsaturated zones. A saturated zone is a zone below the ground where the pore spacing cracks in sediments and rocks are completely filled with groundwater, whereas the unsaturated zone is above the saturated zone where the pore space is filled with air, water, and other organisms. Not to be mixed with aquifers, in this video the term groundwater depth is interchangeable used only in reference to water table at different depths under non-irrigated conditions. So at what point does groundwater affect soil health and plant growth negatively? Poor quality groundwater will start affecting the soil health and plant growth negatively when it will not only contain excessive salts and or excessive sodium, but also if a very shallow water table depth is maintained during most of the growing season, high enough to disturb the root zone balance between soil water and air. Soil water table depth is affected by rainfall patterns. Under wet conditions, a very shallow water table depth depletes the oxygen within the root zone for both plant roots and soil microorganisms. A shallow water table also brings excessive salts and sodium to the soil surface, thus increasing the severity and acreage of saline or saline sodic conditions. When water table depth is shallow and the surface soil is dry, soil water moves towards the soil surface. This is called capillary rise. Rule of thumb for the height of water movement in different textures is about 8 feet in clay soils and only about 2 feet in sands. When salty groundwater moves towards the soil surface, it also brings excessive salts with it. As the water approaches the soil surface, water evaporates, leaving behind the salts. How does a shallow water table deplete the oxygen from the soil? A typical medium texture soil will be made up of 45% mineral component, including sand, silt, and clay, 5% organic matter, that includes the plant residues, animals, and microorganisms, and 50% spaces occupied by pores around the soil particles. As the water table depth rises close to the surface, nearly all of the soil pores will be occupied by the soil water, which will lead to the depletion of oxygen within the plant root zone. Plant roots need oxygen to survive and grow. A lack of oxygen results in shallow root systems and poor plant growth. And how does groundwater increase soil salinity or siticity? Since the parent material of North Dakota soils is rich in salts, including the underlying sodium-rich shell, once groundwater comes to the top, it brings excessive salts with it. Water eventually evaporates, leaving behind the salts.